Rhode Island Energy customers awaiting results on a pretty tense issue today. Some major rate hikes are awaiting approval from the Public Utilities Commission. The vote that's taking place today could be making those electric bills go up for the fall and winter months. Let's check in with reporter Brittany Schaefer. She's live in Warwick this new time with an update. Brittany. Well, Danielle, the meeting started just about a half hour ago and is still going on, so the commission has not taken that vote yet, but the potential rate increase is being met with backlash. Dozens of protesters were standing outside on the front steps here of the PUC, and just minutes ago, they went inside into the hearing, holding signs reading reject the rate hike and the war on the poor is immoral. Rhode Island Energy blaming the potential increase on the rising cost to buy energy due to the war in Ukraine, as well as inflation and high demand. The proposal would increase bills by around 15% or on average $50 a month for Rhode Islanders. Small businesses would see a 16% increase. The Rhode Island Energy president previously said they are encouraging customers who may be struggling with higher energy bills to reach out before getting behind. But some advocacy groups say it's not enough taking their complaints to the vote. So public commission, we are here to remind you that if you consider raising the cost of utilities during an economic crisis without considering the effects that it will have on children and the elderly of those who live in Rhode Island, that you are morally doing something wrong. wrong. No family wrong. or elder should be forced to choose to pay rent or to eat, to pay, to pay electricity or to stay warm. And if the commission does vote to raise those rates, they will take effect on November 1st. Again, we are standing by here at the Public Utilities Commission waiting for that vote. Stay with 12 News both on air and online as we wait for the developing news. For now live in Warwick, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.